Whoa, whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. All right, man, it's a mid-January surf day. I'm here in uh, Davenport, California. We got a little uh, Airbnb next door to the uh, Whale City Bakery Bar and Grill. Getting my morning organic coffee on. The sun is rising. The swell is five to eight with an occasional 12. Beautiful conditions. Look at this day. Oh, oh, we're gonna score. Pretty pumped about it. My back's feeling pretty good. I got a dry wetsuit. I got two surfboards and a bar of wax and a fired up attitude. Let's go see what it's all about. Mm. Uh, there it is, coming out the back. Is it gonna clean everybody up? Looks like it. Oh, guy on the shoulder. He's in. Solid double overhead. Bottom turn. Uh, oh, I faded by a huge section. He pops out the back to find out he's going to get smoked by two full-on set waves. Looks pretty disorganized out there. Uh, out the back, anyone going? Anyone going? Ah, uh, can't get it. Ah, uh, it just looks like a big mush burger to me. Mush burger with double overhead sections to just zap you. Oh, I got a attempt. Nope. Oh, wait, one more out the back. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? I think we got to put the key in the ignition and go to another spot. And look that good at Davenport, one of those waves that suckers you out there because you see like one good one or a couple decent sections. Then you get out there and you realize that it's basically just a shifting closeout. That the one that got you out in the water is super elusive and not easily found again. Yeah. Not a big fan of Davenport. I got suckered out there. Didn't really get anything too magical. Got a couple waves. Back on the road. Let's head into town and see what's going on in there. Maybe there's some magic to be found. You gotta love it, man come into town because I'm like oh, I'll go surf the lane I was watching it on the cam it looks really good like it's not huge but it's super fun I dig middle peak left I'm like all right I'll go in and bow I'll, I'll go in and surf the lane I don't care about the crowd suit I pull up here there's a surf contest it shut down and it's a bunch of groms just surfing like no one's even out in the water like surfing I love it it's just the irony of the whole thing. Of course there's a surf contest. The waves got good, so let's just shut everybody out. I'm one of those, man. One of my giant pet peeves is surf contests, man. I don't think it's fair. And it's not fair is such a lame word to use. It's a public access issue for me. I, I don't get how you can shut down the ocean to the general population so that six people can surf for some lame contest, man. Like, no. Go to Kelly's Surf Ranch and pay him. <sighs> so lame. So I'm gonna turn around, drive back up the coast and probably take beatings out at Scott Creek. Cause that was the thing, I wanted to come into town where it was like the swells filtered and cleaned up a little bit, which it is. The lane's like pretty good right now. Not surfing here. Ha 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 ha. One of my favorite spots on Spaceship Earth. Natural bridges. Guy getting a little 
cover up out there. Unfortunately, the tide's way too high and it's really not doing its thing. Because if it was, I'd be out there in a heartbeat. Love natural bridges. I mean, I love natural bridges. All right. Here's my next surf check. I'm up here at four mile. The hottest is, it's the only foggy part of the coastline in either direction. It's like a little quarter mile section of fog just blocking the surf check. I mean, I'm gathering from the parking lot. The waves are probably pretty decent. I don't know, man. Maybe I just suit up and go for it. Suit up and show up, right? I just, it's one of those days, man. Nothing's cooperating, man. Check, score. Fog cleared. It's pretty fun, man. You know, four miles sort of a wonky, wonky wave, but uh, the tide dropped and it cleaned up and some good sets were coming through. My back was uh, was good, dude. I surfed, I'm surfing, I'm surfing again, man. I had confidence, I was dropping in on some set bombs. You know, some 10 foot faces, nothing crazy, no fear, but uh, definite power. Had a couple meaty ones. Pretty fired up about it, man. So it's, uh, you know, one o'clock. I'm gonna definitely wait for the tide to flip and then I'm gonna go surf again. Hopefully get some natural bridges. Go back to four mile if I have to. And um, surfing, dude. I think I surfed for like three hours, man. I got a bunch of waves. Got a bunch of set waves. What's with, what's with people getting caught on the inside? I, again, like I had this primo wave and there was a bunch of idiots just stuck on the inside, like log jam in the place. Like what is it with people and there's full on sets being just like dumb, dumb and floating around on the inside. What's that all about? I don't understand it. It's beyond me. So maybe someone could explain to me what they are doing on the inside during the sets. Anyway, this is the illusion. Fire it up. Oh, after a little bit of lunch, it's back in the car and down to four mile surf check again. Well, I just got up in the surf track tree, full on sets coming through, dude. I think it's session number two today. Kind of super excited about that. I'm gonna go get after it before it gets dark. Uh, surf's up, baby. Yes.